Hello everyone, welcome to another video. And today I just want to respond to the common question which I often receive and that is how can I access some parameter from the Revit inside the Dynamo and how I can change that parameter so that the change which I apply inside the Dynamo can be visible in the Revit. And basically I did create some sample, sample Revit file and I have some wall generic wall and I have some duct and we will jump right away to the dynamo and there is a lot of ways how you can access that uh, element but for this case because we have only one element for me it's easy to call category for walls category for ducts and to uh, call all elements in that category in any other case you will need to filter elements on which you want to make some change and now if you're not sure which parameter you need to call in order to change it, the, these nodes will list you all parameters uh, which you have for some elements. And of course, different elements and different ca categories will have different parameters. And now we need to pick which parameter do we want to change. Let's say that for the walls we want to change base offset and for ducts we want to change width. Uh, we will change the parameters with element set parameter by name. Uh, so we need the name for the parameter. Uh, we need to connect elements and we will need to set a new value. And let's do that. So first of all, let's connect the element. Second thing is that we need either to get item by index and choose the parameter which we want or we can type the name of parameter. So it's a base of set and now we need to to add new value uh, but before we do that let's do the same for the dots and we did say that uh, parameter name is width and because uh, the parameter value is actually a number we can call number slider We can adjust a little bit that uh, maximum value. And now basically if you want to immediately see the change, it's, it is important to pick automatically run the script. So now we will connect number slider for the wall and number slider. And also this is a, and number slider for the duct. So now when we change some value, it will automatically change inside the Revit. Also for the wall. Now if you want to select some other parameter to play with, let's see what we have here. Let's go with unconnected height. We can increase a little bit at maximum value. Okay, it cannot be zero. So at least 50. And let's pick some other parameter for the duct. And of course, if we now pick height, And that is basically much it. Some of those parameters are read only. So you can basically just uh, read the value and then uh, maybe perform some mathematical operation on it to have some other value. Some parameters does not require number for a value. So you will need to provide some other type of uh, value. But this is like just a basic video to show you that yes, you can uh, affect uh, the values from Dynamo to Revit and it is basically the same with any type of data and any value. Thanks for watching. Bye.